What's going on on YouTube? My name is Ray, and I'll be taking your x-rays. And this is a TikTok Tuesday. Just some tips to help you on your way. In this video, I'm gonna be going over patient transfer tips from gurney to bed or vice versa and a very helpful lifting method, mainly for new grads and techs that they don't teach in school. I'll show you how to pull that patient up in bed when you need to shoot that portable chest x-ray when they're too far down in bed to sit up all by yourself. With minimal strain on your body, why does everyone leave when we enter the room? Like, I could have used your help. Um, guess I'm just here by myself. It's all good. You don't need them. I'll show you how. Intro! First of all, Happy New Year. 2020 is finally over. It's a new year. Time to set some goals up and crush them. This also means that for a lot of you, you're gonna be starting your first clinical rotation. A first time with a real patient, and eventually you'll be moving the patient from a bed to a gurney or gurney to a bed. And others, it's the first time as a registered tech. Congratulations. You'll now be going on portable runs all by yourself, which is kind of cool. No one's attached to your hip. No one's hovering over your shoulders. You are now Mr. or Mrs. Independent. However, you need to shoot this portable chest x-ray and your patient for whatever reason is too far down on the gurney. Their feet are hanging off the bed. They cannot scoot themselves up on their own or they're trying to and taking forever. And there is no one in sight to help you. So what do you do? Well, you can shoot them supine or somewhat semi-erect. However, you won't be able to see the air fluid levels accurately, and this can be very bad for diagnostic reasons. As a registered radiologic technologist, medical professional, you can do better. So instead of searching or waiting for help, or possibly hurting yourself or your patient by screwing them up by yourself, I have a method that not that many techs know. I learned it during my time as a patient transporter. And you don't have to be that strong because we'll have our best friend, Physics, on our side. Let me show you. So here we have the lovely Donna. At the time of this recording, she was actually my freshman. This year, I'm excited to say that we're bringing her back and she'll be now my intern. For whatever reason, she is way too low on the bed and we need her upright in order to get this chest x-ray. As I do with all my patients, I'm letting her know what I'm about to do so she's informed, comfortable, and not surprised by anything. All right, ma'am, so I'm gonna pull you up in bed so we can sit you up properly for this chest x-ray. I'm going to lift the bed up, tilt your head down, and slide you down. You are not going to fall. Just gonna go for a little slide, okay? Do you have any questions? Proceed to lift the bed all the way up. Make sure you have the brakes on. Give a heads up to the patient that you're about to tilt them backwards. Press and keep your foot on the pedal that lowers the head. Once it's all the way down, I tell my patient to give themselves a big hug. This gives them a sense of safety and instead of grabbing onto you or the rails, they're holding onto themselves. Also prevents their arms from getting any skin tears or whatnot. Untuck the sheets and get a firm grip. Bend your knees and not your back. Keep your back straight and pull back with your lats. Pull all the way until your patient's head is near the top. Press and hold the pedal that lowers the legs down. Your patient's hips now should be at the bend of the bed and now can be properly sit upright. It's as simple as that. Thank you, gravity. So now we need to get our patient onto the exam table from the bed. First, we must level both platforms. Ideally, they should be close to waist level. Lower the rails down and get the bed close to the table, making sure there is no gap in between. Yep, yep, yep. 
put the brakes on. Inform your patient what you're about to do. Okay, man, we're gonna lower your head down, put a board under you and slide you across. I personally count to three when I lower my patient's head. It's up to you. Here is our sliding board and the blue thing is some sort of wax paper to make it easier to slide our patient. It makes for a smooth transition without the friction and jerks. But be careful, it can be really slippery. So now I tell my patient, okay, we're gonna roll you like a log onto your right side. You are not going to fall. I'm going to place the board under you and slide you across to our table. It's a text responsibility on the bedside to have no gap between them and the bed so the patient does not fall off. Firmly grab the sheets and roll them up enough for the other tech to slide the board under the patient. Once the patient is let down, make sure you transfer their legs onto the board. We'll now slide the patient onto the board and then slide the patient with the board onto the table. On three, the bedside tech pushes the patient while the table tech grabs the sheets and holds the board at the same time. Another count of three, they both push and pull on the board to transfer the patient onto the table. If this were a trauma patient and they had C-spine precautions, there should be an additional tech at the head securing C-spine and one at the feet. So unfortunately, these are old clips and when I was editing them, I realized I didn't show you how to get your patient off of the table to the gurney. So to do so, it's very similar. Usually we'll be removing the board from the patient, knowing that I'm going to have the, uh, the gurney a little bit lower than the table instead of having it level. We'll be using gravity again to help us slide the patient off of the board onto the gurney. Make sure you have the brakes on. Again, tell your patient to give themselves a big hug. On the count of three, move the patient halfway between the uh, table and the bed. And then another count of three, and then slide them off of the board onto the gurney. The person delivering the patient firmly holds onto the board and tilts up the board to slide them off of the board. The person receiving the patient pulls the board halfway and then adjusts and holds the sheets under the patient and then pulls the patient onto the gurney. And that's it. Another tip, if you are the deliverer, it's easier for you to push the patient than for the receiver to pull the patient. So do make sure you give your very best push, obviously not too hard, and even a bigger push when you have a heavier patient. And that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And if you found this video helpful, press that like button, subscribe for my expert content, and share this video with others who may find value from it. I just launched my website, xrayray.com. Shout out to Bree, thank you very much for everything. There you can order your technique cart, your badge reel, your one-on-one -on -one Zoom time with me if you need any advice. Uh, consultation, and also if you need any help with uh, positioning your patients. And other merch, clothing, other things I can think about will be updated uh, throughout the year. I'm very, very excited to finally have this for you. Definitely a lot more organized to uh, help me with all of these orders, all these pre-orders, man. Thank you very much to everyone out there who has pre-ordered um, that supported the channel. If you have not seen, I have posted Basically just an update of what is going on with the shipping of the uh, cards. They were supposed to be delivered to me mid-December. However, uh, with the snowstorms of Connecticut, um, I believe it got lost because there has not been no uh, update since the 15th of December. So the good people over at Alpha Card, customer service, uh, JJ, Trina, Patty, Thank you for helping me with this uh, this nightmare and thank you for making this right. So what they did was they're actually gonna make me another batch and overnight it and uh, I'll have them this week and I will ship them shortly after to all of you. Again, thank you to everybody for being understanding and being patient through this whole ordeal. I'm still excited to see them, to actually have them. I have this, this rig set up for, for an overhead uh, little shot 
um, you know, first impressions and, and show you in detail the cards and actually get these out to you and have you use them out on the floor. But until then, until the next video, I will see you later. You have greatness within you. I see you at the top. My name is Ray and I'll be taking x-rays. I love baby. Peace.